Hello guys, welcome to my channel. This is the daily life of Mrs. Mernick. I've been known to do crafts and arts and all that just to pass the time. And I'll be doing that here on this channel. This first video is making clay pots. Beautiful. So, uso kay na karon. And I not really a green thumb person. You can mo grow sa mga plants. So, muna nakiambit ra ko sa ako mga friends or ako ang igagaw na maayo mo plant. But, I want it inside the house. So, moto, ako ang idea is to just beautify the pots. Okay. Baos na lang ko sa plants. And so, before I did this, I've researched and asked people who knows how to do this one. Because I've done crafts but not on a clay pot before. So, this is gonna be my first time. And I want it to be um, productive, yeah, effective food, because if you don't know anything, if you don't ask first, ang tendency is you buy again and again. And di taganan ano, because pandemic karon and all. So I've researched, and yes, I was scared and unsure what this would turn out, but it was an adventure. Dagan kung na-learn sa akong gibuhat na crafts and I've enjoyed it. Oh, cuz wala man jay assurance nga mo nindot no or or mahimong positive ang result unless you try. Yeah, life is too short, so let's just try it out. And if you know anyone who are planning to do this stuff, not necessarily clay pots ang gamiton. You can do, can use plastic or whatever you have at home. So ako alang kas, since I'm not a green thumb, baos na lang po sa plants. Cause pinaka cheap siya for plantitas to use and effective side. It's it's porous, it's supposed to work that way. So, um, stick around and see kung unsa kung mga tips and mga do's and don'ts. Because, pasin pareho mo sa kuana. Unsure of what to do with this. So, it might help you with your future crafts so click on the like button share it to your friends who knows this subscribe and click on the notification bell to to notify you when we have another video for you guys stick around We're turning this pots into After research, prepare the materials needed. Pots, this will depend on your preference. I'll be putting all the materials needed in the description box. The difference of enamel paint and latex paint will be shown later on the video. Once the materials are ready, check your pots for any bumps or dirt or anything that is needed to be removed before you paint them. Since my pots are new ones, though they are stuck for a long time, so I just need to sand them 
and wash them before I paint them. Usually, mag-reuse ra og pots or plastic or anything in the house. You might want them to immerse in water for a long time or use hot water para mas dali siya matangtang and mas dali ni mo malimpiwan imong pots. For finishing touches ni, akong gigamit ng sandpaper kay new man ako ang pots. After sanding and checking for anything else to remove from your pots, you can wash them with water or use brush to remove them. I let mine dry overnight to ensure that all parts of the pots to be painted are really really dry because the paint will not stick to the pot if it is wet. I have used some primer for construction because the one that I've searched for in the net are not available as of the moment here in Cordova and I don't think it's gonna be wise to go beyond the border just to buy something so I asked from my in-laws of leftovers from their work and got enough primer to paint my pots twice two coats of primer to ensure that my painting or my paint job will not be wasted and it will last longer than it should because paint pots are porous and they tend to absorb water once it once they absorb water, they will wash out the paints, making your artwork non-existent. Dali raman mauga ang primer, so it's okay na i-paint siya on the same day, but make sure to let it dry overnight before mag-paint sa latex. Before ko ni buy sa paints, I pick first the designs I want and decided na mupalit sa katong mix na colors like red, yellow, and blue, and black and white para mas easier na ko mix and blend ang colors na akong ganahan for my designs. And make sure good nga mamix thoroughly ang paint before you use them kay usually mag settle down na siya for kay mas takbaya siya for a while sa store yung mag settle down na to siya sa ubos so i-mix yun siya thoroughly para mas smooth ang finish sa imong artwork Make sure the primers are totally dry before you paint your first coating of white latex paint. This is to ensure that smoother ang result sa imuhang pagpaint and walay bumps. Fourth day and I'm ready to color all my pots na. Again, make sure to mix the paints first before you apply them. And kaninga part is ako pa ni siyang i recoat balik same color just to make the color more pronounced or mas brighter siya mas makita start always with the background color make sure nga maugid ang pinaka prominent niyang uh, color blending the colors will depend solely on you dark or lighter nara na ninyo and mas easier jud ang latex a mix and blend than NML as you can see wala na na akong ipakita ang pag style na ko sa black supposedly um, sunset siya pero di gina ko ma-explain na nung yung anadyo na yung result for the sunflower, since white raman yung background, I coated the pots twice put for latex paint. Tungod sa kasapot na ko sa black paint, wala na na ako nabidiyohan ang pag-color ani nila. 
and I'm just showing you how I make it smoother lang sa pagblend because ako ang style ani sa blue is gradient from dark to light so para mas smoother siya is try mixing it with white or the lighter color to ensure nga circular imo flowers or within the circle ang imo flowers you can use anything sa akong part akong gigamit kay ang masking tape and make sure nga light lang yun ang pagka pencil kay I found out na gusto din siya erase so para dili kayo siya halata in the end product light lang pagka uh, pagka suwat or pagka chase and if naamoy stencils much better but I don't have so munang nagamit yung gold pencil so here I'm just showing you how to shape the petals of your flower so pwede raman good bisan on sa pwede rounded or on sa so ni follow rajud ko sa um, sa design so depende ra na ninyo Next is adding designs to the red pot, which is gonna be the Wonder Woman design. So, ako rin kisure nga dry ang red paint already before I added the blue one para dili sila magmix. Okay, solid colors man atong in ani. So, there yung part na baga gina na ko og gamit ang pencil for the W, big W for Wonder Woman. And dito na ako na found out na liso dito siya erase So, you can use a stencil or you can paint right away. Just slowly. Part by part. And sa kung gibuhat mang good para lang di nilang manotice is I recode it with an Tawag sa producer ani nga paint kay Panos na black. Moving on sa black paint, I've used the masking tape para ma-shape for the geometric design. Dapat nung geometric design ni, eh. Pero kay wala dito patience sa pag-stick, aning pag-stick, pag-cut, aning masking tape. So, morning resulta. For the center of the sunflower, um, I've used brown paint. So, this is just a mixture of all the paints. So, i-control lang ang black and blue because they give off the darker side of brown. Three days later, because the weather wasn't friendly enough for me to paint outside, I just made sure that the room as well ventilated. The electric fan wasn't facing on me. There kay baho mga good ang enamel jud kay pa outside dili pa dong sa enamel. I am now pushing the sunset design. This photo was from Sir R G Yanko, and since nadala nyo ko sa tong latex paint ng black, ako sa siyang ipintan in one side to be sure na mamix ba siya tarong because I never used enamel before and so far it didn't go well so you'll see in the next part of the video here in this part is the Wonder Woman design so klaro ka yung pencil munang ako na lang siyang trace back with enamel okay mas darker mas, mas bugat man siya o dating Ako sila gi-cover balik og enamel to have as a glossy finish po. The sunflower design, I'm just showing you how to blend it properly or more effectively. Um, they work best on wet on wet especially with this type of paint so I painted the dried yellow again with another coat of yellow 
before I put on the mixed orange paint and blend it again with the yellow to have a more finer finish on the edges. The next day, so here's the supposedly sunset um, pot, but it didn't, it doesn't look good at all. Hindi ka po yung nakaiko niya. So, ako na lang gusto siyang i-cover all black with enamel just to let it go and, you know, move on na lang. And lain na lang akong gidesign for that pot. In this part, I'll only be showing you how to manually mix a an enamel gold paint because we had it all wrong. I've only used few or a pinch of that gold dust with little of the of the clear paint so that you can um, mix another one in the next project that you will be making. Before you paint the geometric design with the gold paint, I make sure nga nag stick dito pag ayo ang mga tapes nimo ng gipilit before and supposedly dapat once nimo na nang napilit din na sa pots i paint na na dayon but since na delay jud ko tama tungod sa weather and wrong mixing of paints i'll be showing you the result of what happened with my design the last day before we spray them with clear coat spray so wala pa dili pa ni last day no kay magtangtang pa ta sa tapes for the geometric design, they were not effective na as barrier para untama straight ang imong paints. So instead of making it more pretty, as ni batik na nong ng design, but I'm not gonna clean it out because it's gonna be a reminder of what you should do the next time. The black one again, so frustrated yung kiko ano niya no. But what I did na lang is use the gold paint, the leftover gold paint from the geometric design and just um, smeared it all over the black pot. So while it's wet, ako na siyang i-rub o cloth or something para mas ma-spread siya unevenly for the design. And just use um, Q-tip para mas finer ako ang or mas straighter ako ang figures i-paint na ako sa pots. The last one is the piggy design. So, mogi niyang pinaka na control na ko pag ayo sa tanang gi design na ko. I should have made the piggy design for all my pots, but I wanted a different one and I wanted a colorful one. So, muna naglabad na nun akong ulo. But, I enjoyed it. I've also reused the leftover gold for the piggy design. Okay, sayang man good. Siyan of all the piggy design that I've seen and researched. And so far, it's the cutest among all the pots that I've painted. So next time, piggy design na lang dyan ako tingaling i-paint. Para dyan mahuman na lang kong sayo. No? Nadili pa ako ma-stress. Okay, panos pa dyan yung black na paint. So there. Tomorrow for sure. The next day, I've after I've checked na dry na gita ng pots, I've sprayed the clear coat spray. I wasn't able to to film it because it was too windy outside. Just make sure nga dili kay duol or dili kay layo ang pagka spray kay tendency niya um, an uneven iya hang yang coat. Um, dili po effective if 12 inch ang kalayo. <laughs> dili kaya dili kaya effective like mus samot tanon ang spread samot windy kay outside. And make sure jud na outside ganag spray ani kasi grabe niya kasmali. And, I, and it's toxic dude. so I wasn't able to but here are the finished product here are my learnings for this activity that I've done or this craft that I've done so first off is latex works best for blending colors than animal paint so I've shown you the pink one and the sunflower are best looking than all the rest be realistic with your design clay pots don't work like paper does so make sure that you know your design well and you have the right materials like paintbrush small paintbrush or uh, pointed paintbrush like I don't 
So that's why I used Q-tip instead and end up with something else than the design I was intending to do. Enamel works well as solid color and will give you a glossy finish, but it smells, so be sure to work in a well-ventilated room. As I said, it would be best if you have an electric fan with you and let it face outside the room so that the smell will not go directly on your face and will not uh, toxify you in a way. Patience and being on time helps your design to shine more. So as I've said, make sure that your materials are ready, anything that you'll be using, any tapes because the tapes, when you put longer, will not be effective as guides to straight lines for your paints. Last one, make the most of what you have. Even if it scares you, just do it. Life is too short to dwell in fear. And this has been Mrs. Marnik for Daily Life of Mrs. Marnik. I hope you enjoyed that video and I hope you learned from it as I did. And hope to see you on the next one. Bye! Toot toot!